Good morning, it's that bloke on a motorbike. Another glorious day, so why not out for a ride? I've uh, been reading again, and this time I'm just outside Sheffield, so I'm just leaving Sheffield now, coming up a place called the Rivlin Valley, which uh, beautiful tree lined road. This light coming through the trees is just amazing. And this time I'm just outside Sheffield, so I'm just leaving Sheffield now, coming up a place called the Rivlin Valley, which uh, beautiful tree lined road. This light coming through the trees is just amazing. It's quite a warm day today as well, although under these trees it's uh, nice and cool. So we're going to be. This is a cracking bend, is this one? You can really dig your tyres in there, give it a good squirt of juice coming out. Everybody's out enjoying this late summer sunshine. We've had an absolutely terrible summer. Lots of rain, cold, and then just as the kids go back to school, we get this beautiful weather, which luckily I had uh, some time booked off work for. So I think at the moment I'm probably somewhere around about two miles outside Sheffield, and we're already out into open countryside. It really is amazing the scenery around here and so glad I live in this area and can get to different places. I know a lot of you have made comments that you have to drive, particularly uh, somebody in Australia, I forgot your name mate, sorry, uh, was commenting that he had to drive a heck of a long distance, time and mileage wise, to get somewhere that's decent like this. So, I do feel a bit privileged to be able to have it on my doorstep. It's taken me about 50 minutes to get here. Just nice and steady drive. And life don't get much better than this. Looks very picturesque now, but there used to be uh, loads of independent workshops doing metal work, so it must have been choked with fumes and noise and all the rest of the paraphernalia that goes with it. So we just turned off the main road now. Going up a very, very steep climb, this, and there's some uh, serious bends in it as well. That sun's blazing down. You can feel it through the visor. Just dropped some visor down. It's what you would really call an ivy road, is this. Look at that view. You would not believe, would you, that we're just outside Chef. That road in the bottom that we turned off was the uh, A6, A, uh, 57 Snake Pass, eventually. Now this bend coming up is an absolute pig. sure there's nobody coming down the other way there because what I tend to do is just cut the corner and then climbing up here and to an area called Lodgemore so where we've got the playing field on the left hand side and then in that wood that wood now is called Red Myers Plantation but um, it used to be a prisoner of war camp in both the First and Second World War. Originally built for the Sheffield Battalion uh, as a training area. When they went overseas in the First World War, it was used by others. And then uh, after that, uh, it was used as a prisoner of war camp. So just behind that 
stone wall on his left hand side. So World War I started off um, with German soldiers in there and one famous one in October 1918 was Karl Dönitz. Uh, he was commander of a U-boat, the German submarines and uh, he was captured and put in there. Now he went on to be commander of the German Navy, the Kriegsmarine, uh, and then at the end of the war when Hitler killed himself, he became Chancellor. He also had two sons who were lost in submarines, so tragic for him. You know, I know he's a, a German and all the rest of it, Nazi party, but losing your kids is not good for whatever reason um, so during the war or between the wars I should say when the First World War finished uh, we went on to uh, peacetime 1925 there was an outbreak of smallpox road ahead closed wonder how far I can get there was uh, an outbreak of smallpox uh, and Lodgemore Hospital couldn't take all the patients so some of them were housed there so used for more humanitarian reasons then come the second world war it was opened up again as a prison camp its name changed then to lodge more camp and uh, just looking at this road it looks like it's shut yeah it's closed so we can't get up there to the the actual um, reservoir where the other part of the training camp was so we'll spin it round here and I'll keep telling you about the, the story so yeah it was mainly Italian prisoners that it held and then the Italian prisoners were replaced by Germans and it was a selection camp so the classified Nazis as black and non-Nazis as white so they put them in there to decide which was which so we're still only about three miles from centre Sheffield and we've got all this beautiful countryside and history I think it's a nice little plodding day today for Ivy and me. That road up there looks amazing. That's where we're gonna go. Do you know what? I've got the greatest respect for cyclists that go downhill at that speed two tiny little brake blocks or even if they got disc brakes two tiny little discs look at that view wow oh my god going to pull up here then you can have a look back down the valley so got some cows there look at that that's Sheffield amazing absolutely amazing you can actually see Lodgemore Hospital just off that side that tower that's sticking up what a view right come on Ivy off we go again love You do get some uh, different smells when you're out in the countryside. One minute you've got the sweet smell of the grass that's been turned over and drying in this beautiful sunshine. And then the next you go past and you can smell what's going to be put on the land to regenerate it. 
absolutely stunning. I do wish sometimes that my head could work like an owl and just spin round so I could see all this lot. I wish I could do that. I wish you were fit enough to do that. Uncharted territories yet again. Uh, I think we'll have a bit of a an explore, shall we? This is supposedly not too bad, a little off-road route. We'll see how we go with that one. It's very rocky. Reminds me a little bit of uh, up at Lake District when I went on that road up to Hell Vellin. A gated system. Is there. Right, open the gate. is looking like we've got quite a few cobbles there now anyway, let's give it a go there we go It's one of those things that seems like a, a good idea at the time. And also when your natural instinct says, don't do it. Right, so the uh, the track got progressively worse. Um, if it had been on a different bike, uh, I might have attempted it on a Milan or something like that. But I'm not willing to risk damaging my beloved Ivy. But just look at that. That down there is Sheffield. You can see how close we are. I've just seen an amazing stag. It came over the ridge 
uh, where we can see there just over the top uh, and walked across and I, I just looked at it it was magnificent huge antlers on it just so quiet as it was walking no sound at all so really really nice so what we'll do we'll go a little bit further uh, and do no a way around so not a problem right here we go if it had been like this all the way i'd have uh, i'd have gone on but it's just big 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 ruts running at an angle across the road and huge great boulders so i'm not willing to uh, to risk her just got to remember to keep my tongue in otherwise i might finish up biting it Right, now coming in, this was a pig. So let's see if we can do it a little bit different, shall we? Let's go across like that. At least it'll be easier this time because I've got my feet where they actually go on to high ground. Right. There we go, my little darling. You're back on the flat stuff. Come on, flower. I think from here what I'm going to do is make my way around a bit of a meandering route but I'm going to go to the station cafe at Grindleford which is the first ever video that I put up on this channel was going to the station cafe for a chip butty and I've not been since so I think a visitation is in order so I'm going to go, which way shall I go? I think I'm going to go left here and then we'll drop round. We'll go for a spot of lunch or dinner. series of pens so I just dropped into Grindleford now morning of hedgehogs crossing the road don't think this is a hedgehog it's just an old chap And on a weekend this is absolutely rammed although you can get the train from down here and go either to Manchester or into Sheffield so possibly a lot of these will be uh, commuters right I'm going to go get a coffee and some food I'll see you in a bit folks oh that was absolutely wonderful I had ham, egg, chips and salad and a cup of coffee. It was very, very nice. 
So I am really full now. Ivy will be struggling with me on her now. No, you won't, will you, flower? Okay, so to climb up this tree lined road out of Grindleford, I think I'm, uh, I'm going to call it for this particular ride. I'll make my way back down into Sheffield, which you've seen the ride there loads of times. So thanks for coming along on this one, uh, learning about the German POW camp. And then the ride over the moors. And a little bit of aborted off-roading. Had to be kind to Ivy. So thank you very much for coming along. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. It really does help. And uh, if you're not, if you consider it, I will be most grateful. Leave me a comment, give it a like, share it with somebody, do what you want with it. And if you're out on your bikes in this glorious weather, stay safe, keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down. And I will see you all out on the road sometime. Bye for now, folks. Bye.